Okay, guys. This is Mr. Shiny Gatos. Welcome you back to Let's Play Tales of Grace of And sorry if you hear a little clicking. I have a cough drop in my mouth. But in the last part, we did some side quests. We saw a play. And Malik was pretty darn good in it. I think this line could be the best sum up what it was. Now, while you men will almost be certainly risking your lives... Wait, hold on. Wait, give me one second. Now, your men, you men will only be risking your lives while I'll be risking an almost certain Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. There we go, I got it right second time. Seems to be a common theme with me. I tend to mess up the first time. But yeah. Tell me where that quote's from, because I actually quoted something there. I didn't make that up. It'll make me happy if you know what it's from. But anyway, let's move on and do more side quest stuff um, with Lara. Because we have to turn in those dolls that we made, as well as another one. Because we had another one from earlier. But we're going to turn in the Prince one first. Now let's turn in another one. It's the cats. I yeah, we picked that one up a while ago. Oh, we get Laura's medal and a title for Sophie. Is that is that the title that gives her for Mr. Gar? Yeah, it does. I figured this might be it. But we still have a few more to give. Still, I'm pretty sure that's a reference to Tales of Vesperia. I don't know, I've never played Vesperia because I don't have a 360 and... I don't... F and it was made for the PS3 but only in Japanese. And I don't have a copy of that one. And now we get a cutscene because we've turned in all the dolls that we possibly can in the game to her. Yep, snow is generally cold. Which reminds me why we're we here in a bathing suit. I don't... I don't know, game. Why doesn't it just automatically change like in Nino Kuni? Okay. Sophie turned into a snowball? What? I know you're in a bathing suit. You, there's a good chance you could catch a cold. Maybe next time we'll take you back to Windor with us. Asbel's house is there, and I'm having trouble reading this. In my flower garden, too. It's really warm. I figured I'd read it since it's a bit tougher to see. I'd love to go. It sounds beautiful. We could plant lots of seeds and grow beautiful flowers in your garden. Sherry's grandfather lives there too. He's really nice. 
Can we take a turtle's transport over to the big city? Yes, Verona's the closest big city, and it's really big. They have a night academy there, too. It's not that big. It's, it's, it's not hard to navigate there. That's where Asbel and the others went to play seven years ago. Yes, and we know how that turned out. I wish I could have met you seven years ago, Sophie. It would have been the exact same, so I don't get why. It's a big deal. It would have been so much fun. I just know we would have played together all the time. This cutscene is... Okay, she can't go, apparently. I'm not gonna read these because you it's, it's not harder to read. Okay, lying about what? So we've been talking to a ghost the whole time. Okay, we're done with that, and now we get a skit. <sighs> wow, it's interesting how something so small like a stuffed animal can still cheer someone up. Even if they couldn't actually keep that little girl alive. It just goes to show that emotions really do control every aspect of our lives. I think I understand that a little better now. Hmm? Well, maybe saving people is more than just healing wounds and curing disease. Maybe you need to boost their spirits. Yeah, I know my health suffered back when you were being so cold to me. Do you have to bring that up again? Maybe you should go collect a pile of stuffed animals. Okay, I'm gonna cut out real quick after that skip because I ch chomped down on that cough drop. But, um... We got that. Now we want to head back to the house that Laura was in because there's one more thing left that's a reward for doing all that. We get the therapeutic slicers, which is a weapon for Sophie, but I doubt it's better than the Omni Weapon Fists. But we can just take a quick look. Yeah. Other than the max CC, and it does give auto recovery, but... but eh, I like the stat boosts. Doesn't make that big of a difference. Anyway, let's, uh... Let's head down to the port now, though. I was about to say, we could just warp there, but we're already here now. And just walk there right as I said it, so... We'll just continue down to the port, because there's a few things to do down here. So let's talk to this Carter King. 
as we can see, depending on how many we got, we can... Okay, Asbel acquired a title. Okay, apparently we have not enough to get more, but oh well. It's not a big deal, we can get them later. Although I'll equip this. Yeah, because Stampede Strike wouldn't be bad to have as a tw for a 25 hit combo. Anyway, let's talk to him. We want to hit the question mark, question mark, question mark. Or five question marks. I'm used to playing a little Final Fantasy 13 2 where there was three question marks sometimes for the year. We got on a smuggling ship. How did we not know? It was the question marks. Oh, of course there's a monster. Why wouldn't there be a monster? I'm trembling. It's just these guys. We've beaten them up many times before. So let's just smack them around. And yeah, it's a very, very, very easy battle at this point. And we get, uh, obviously a request item. And now you could go to the bar in Barona and talk to the barkeeper and you get a scene with Malik being a bartender. But you don't actually get anything from it, so... I'll save that for now just because I want to get back to the main story. So I want to stick to at least things that get you a skit or some sort of item. Stuff like that. Oh yeah, but Malik does get a title, which the title is what allows you to get that scene at the bar. You don't have to have it equipped, I don't believe, though. You just have to have it. Um, where, oh yeah, I want to go to Fendel Tower. There's actually quite a bit we can do in Fendel Tower. So let's, let's get to it. Another reason why I'm skipping that bar scene. So first thing, want to get this. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you for your words of encouragement. Who are you talking to, Mal? Hey, oh. uh, come on, Pascal. That funny hat guy you were just talking to is the Chancellor. Oh, Fendel, it was yeah? the Chancellor. Yes, and he was kind enough to offer a few words to me. Hey, Captain, isn't that big old boomerang thing hard to use? 
It's worth it to make my foes fear my opening move. You looked happy about that conversation, Captain. It means a lot to a man who once abandoned his country, especially since our personal run-in. So it's like an intimidation tactic. Wouldn't you be intimidated by a foe whose attacks you couldn't anticipate? A personal run-in? What happened? Tell me, I want to hear the story. Where do you even get a weapon like that? It's a trade secret. That's my answer to both of you. He disarmed them both with one swing. <laughs> Clever indeed, Captain. I'd better note this in my journal. Oh, that was that was that was a good one. Okay. Anyway, we want to head down to. No. That is that's not right. Is it is it over here that I think it's over here that we want to head? Yeah, we want to head the basement ten. Okay. Now, there should be someone, yeah, over here that we want to talk to. Asbalt, stop having my Star Ocean 4 syndrome. Where I go to talk to someone and I bump the controller, so I'm no longer facing them right as I'm hitting the button to talk to them, so I don't actually talk to them. Uh oh. Haha, <laughs> we caught him. Oh, apparently he knows who Malik is. Okay, we get the evidence of espionage. Now we want to head, and Pascal gets the title, but we want to head in here. We want to turn the first two valves. We want to head across. We want to move this platform over here. Now we want to take the lift down. We want to turn this valve. We want to head across this way. Turn this other valve. back I think we want to yeah head over chest with some elith want to leave now south now we're at basement 11 we want to head into the new corridor. Okay. We want to turn this valve. We want to take the lift down. We want to head over here. Take this lift up. To that treasure chest. And there's a hazardous liquid. So 
we want to turn this valve now. Then we want to turn this one back on. We want to descend. Then we want to descend down this one. We want to turn this valve. I'm going to take the platform over here. Turn this valve. And go to a new floor. And over here, we get a venomous needle. And a book of expansion. And now we just want to head out of here. Um, let's see if this actually works. It does now, so let's just head to the first floor. So now let's head out of here. And then we're gonna warp somewhere else. That's right, we have to head a little farther before we can warp out. Anyway, let's head now to... Fendel Research Lab. So let's head inside the research lab. take this elevator down because it takes us back into 4A's lab although we don't actually want to do anything in this section it, this section itself but we do want to do stuff near the end here namely there's a safe skip Asbel, tell me the truth am I a burden on the rest of the party? What makes no, you say that, you're the Julia? healer I mean, everyone else is so strong I can't fight nearly as well all I can do is provide healing, you know? So... You, but you have indignation. Hey, that's an extremely that, that's useful. important skill. Sheria, I need you. Asbel! Just like I need Sophie, Hubert, the captain, and even Pascal. Everyone has different talents and roles, and we're all stronger stop. for it. Stop, just stop. But it always used to cheer me up when the captain gave that speech. Forgive me, Sheria. Huh? What was that? Okay. Now we want to head right... ...for a star event. Okay, well, let's just go in. Can't be that bad. I'm trembling. Okay. We got this guy. He, oh, he's nothing. Why? Let's just kick him all around. Not bad, oh, you there he goes. Five seconds. He's really easy at this point.
And we get the pod slopper, another one of those special s special items that does things. And in here, we get Gauss's seal as well. So now let's head out of here. Okay, so I think I decided that I'll, I'll show off that bar scene next part because because we're not I don't want this part to go on too long and we're not quite there's still there'll still be a little bit of stuff side quest stuff to do next part so I'll just throw it in with that as we finish we will definitely finish up side quest next part for sure but anyway we want to head to that Marcian enclave and let's go left because, well, you could probably guess there's a save skit. So let's check it out. Asbel, Pascal is behaving strangely. I'm not when surprised. isn't Pascal behaving strangely? Okay, I think guy. we're all used to it and we enjoy it so much that we couldn't have it any other way. Mind my asking, Pascal? What is the matter? Well, the thing is... Yes? I seem to have stopped growing. I see. Um, and exactly how old are you, Pascal? I'm 22. So, like, what should I do, little bro? Perhaps you should discuss it with the captain. After all, he's quite tall. Oh, Hubert, right. really? And he couldn't be that tall if he wasn't still growing. Aw, thanks, little bro. You're a lifesaver. Okay, what the? Please refrain from any further comment. Okay. I'm starting to get a little worried about you. Yeah. Hubert. Okay. Anyway, let's go see the overseer now. Or the overseer's chambers. Because there's something very important to do. But then there's something afterwards even more important to do. Which will be like the last thing in the part. Because we gotta save the best for last in this part, obviously. So we wanna talk to Poisson. I guess we talked to both of them. And yeah, we gotta show. Because remember, I know it's it's been a little while since we talked to Dallin and he told us to go see the Amarsians for help with the sword. But um, this is where we need to go to get help with the sword. And that's why you need the aggro iris. You need it to, she needs it to repair it. So that's why I also waited to do this, you know, do side quests now. So we could do this in the whole bunch of side quests. And we get Excalibur, the best sword we can get before the uh, post game or the future arc. So let's equip it because enemies weak does extra damage to enemies weak to Nova, which obviously is useful against Lambda and all the monsters that will fight. And the Guardia Shaft because they all they all are Nova monsters. So anyway, now the last thing to do is we need to go play the play some shot cube. Because remember, we couldn't do all the shot cube, but now we can. So let's play shot cube. Rank three, stage ten. Okay, so let's see how we're gonna do this one. Okay, I see see some way to start. Because remember, it's all about the start. Okay. Aha. 
Oh, we want to do this now. Slide that over. Slide this over. Slide this one over. And we got this. I enjoy these puzzles. I'm also pretty good at them. Because I don't have any notes on these puzzles. Now let's do 11. Let's see. Hmm. This is an interesting one. Okay, well, let's send this one across. Move this down. Send that one across. Send these across. Move this one down. And yeah, we got this. Because then we just slide these two across and we hit this last one into place. We're good, and we should unlock... We get a Mithril Shot Staff, but then there's the final challenge. Number 12, this is the final challenge. Hmm. Where to begin on these? Huh, this is an interesting one. Okay, well, let's, let's start with this. And then that. And then this. And then this. Oh, wait. This is not gonna end the way I... Darn. This one I don't got. This one I don't have. So let's try that again. I mean, this one is the hardest one for a reason, so let's... Okay, we want to hit this one here. We want to hit this down. We want to hit this one over. Then we want to hit this one up. And this one over. Then we want to hit this one into place. This one into place. Now we have it. Just a matter of... We have to hit these two first, then this one, and then the last one gets into place. Okay, that one is a bit of a challenge, but we got it. We did it, we beat the final challenge, so we get a rare shot staff, and we get a winner's trophy. And we are done with the shot cube game forever, unfortunately. You can replay them, but... Oh, we also get a skit. Good work, Pascal. Hardly felt like work at all. The rest of you should have given it a try, too. I'm not good at this at all. But Hubert's not bad. You called? I was just telling Pascal how good you are with puzzles. Really? They are indeed a specialty of mine. Shall I give you a demonstration with a game of Shot Cube? I already cleared the whole thing. Well, perhaps there's a similar puzzle elsewhere in town. I don't think so. Maybe in someone's home? Nope. Well, then what about a children's toy? Eh. Fine. I'll go make one myself. <laughs> He's always been a bit over competitive. Okay. And with that, um, we need to end this part. So in the next part, we'll finish up the side quest stuff, I promise, and get on to the, get back to the final dungeon. So this is Mr. Shiny Garros, signing out guys, have a good day, and goodbye.